close your eyes and watch your breath. As you breathe in, watch it all the way in. As you breathe out, watch it all the way out. And then again and again. We're trying to stay right here with the sensation of the breathing. Any other thoughts that come up, you can let them go. Make up your mind this is what you really want. You want to train your mind to stay right here. And you stick with it. In Pali, this is called aditana, determination. We can also call it resolution. And this is the time of year where people make resolutions. So one good resolution might be the assurance to train my mind. I want my mind to be under my control and not running all, all over the place, doing things that I later regret. The mind is like a child, has to be taught what's right and what's not right. Sometimes it's your mind, but it's acting like it's somebody else. And so you have to look into it. Why is the mind doing things that you don't want it to do? And part of it is out of ignorance, and part of it is out of just general orneriness. But you want to know, because after all, it is your mind. Your mind is in charge of things. This is what shapes your life. It's because of your actions that you have the life that you have. And where do your actions come from? They come from the mind. So if the mind is well-trained, okay, then the actions of the mind are bound to be a lot more in line with what you really want out of life. So take some time to get the mind under your control. This is what makes all the difference in a determination or a resolution. If you make up your mind to do one thing and then go do something else, okay, how many minds do you have? And that mind that you made up, what happened to that? How did it get unmade? You want to know these things. Because all too often when a resolution goes bad or a resolution gets forgotten, we tend to blame circumstances outside. You didn't have time, this got in the way. But it's actually it's the mind. It's a weakness in the mind itself that can turn obstacles into bigger obstacles than they may need to be. But at the same time, the mind, if you make up your mind that you really do want to stick with this, you can turn obstacles into opportunities, into challenges, and find that you're up for the challenges. So the difference lies in your attitude. Try to make sure you have the right attitude towards this, that you really want true happiness and you don't want to be dis dissuaded by other things. You don't want to be pulled away by other things. And then whatever the true happiness you want, okay, then you find that you can do it. I mean, that's what the Buddha's teachings are all about. It's a true happiness is possible, and we human beings can find it. And this is how we find it, by training the mind. So put this at the top of your list, and with my mind under control. Take some time every day to meditate. Start out with just a few minutes, and then as you get more used to it, you can expand the time to a longer and longer. And then you find that you've got a mind that's a friend to you, and not just a, another animal living in the house, doing what it wants. That actually can serve your interests. That's the kind of mind you want to live with.